Hi guys, what's going on and welcome to another Age of Mythology the Titans editor tutorial and today we're going to talk about quest bars. So, let's jump right into the video. What are quest bars? Quest bars are numbers, they can be integer, like 1, 2, 3 or 4 or even negative numbers. These numbers show the progress of a certain mission. I'll talk to you more explicitly. So let's take for example the level 5 of Age of Mythology the Titans, the ancient relics. Each time you garrison a relic, you are granted a power, and if you garrison the four relics, you win the mission. How do they do this? Well, they use quest bars. Or, for example, if you have a mission, let's take for example, you have Arcantus Uber, and he wants to kill um, uh, Axeman, two of the four Axeman here. So, if you want to do it, that he has to kill two of the four Axeman, in a random order, so it doesn't really matter if he kills this one after this one, or doesn't really matter the order, it is better to use quest bar. If you want to use conventional methods, you have to use here the condition OR. And if you want to do two of the four X-Men to be dead, it is a, lo a lot of ORs. I will put the number in the screen, it is a very high number, and it scales up for every X-Men you add. So it isn't uh, very realistic to use the ORs. It is better to use quest bar. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set the quest bar to an arbitrary number, but this number we'll set it to zero because it is the best number you can work with. So we'll use the QV set, and uh, the condition will be always uh, run immediately. Doesn't really matter except if uh, the axeman is very near Arcantos, so we want it to run immediately, and we'll use the trigger QV set and we'll give it the value 0. What have we done here is we have set the number of our quest bar to be 0. The var name you can change it for however you want. For the purpose of this tutorial I will keep it QV1 but if you have more than one be sure to change them and name them something you would remember. So now each time we kill an X-Men we want the quest bar to be added to 1. So we know how many X-Men we have killed. So we will use the condition is dead and we select this X-Men as a source unit and the effect would be quest bar don't use quest bar set use quest bar modify you can set it quest bar 1 uh, we can uh, set the value to 1 but if you do so you have to kill the X-Men in a specific order for example if you kill this one the quest bar uh, will be 2 for example if you set it to this one it will be 2 it isn't what we want it is we want uh, to be able to kill the X-Men in whatever order we want so we'll use quest bar modify. And each time we kill an X-Men, the value of the quest bar is modified by 1. This is what we want. Now we'll copy this trigger. No, not this one. We'll uh, copy the trigger 4 times. And you can rename them if you want. I won't bother now. But uh, be sure to rename them if it is uh, a custom scenario. And with a bunch of uh, triggers. A whole lot of triggers. So this one. Gary. Be sure to go to another trigger, and this is uh, very easy, like, Gary. if you wanted to do it with ores, it is a whole lot of work. And we nearly finish, now we want to enter the final trigger, the win condition, and there is, uh, uh, sorry for the capitalization, and uh, we want to use the condition QV check. Now we want to check if the value of QV1 is greater uh, or equal than 2. If it is greater or equal than 2, we want to win the mission. I told you we want to kill 2 of the 4 X-Men. Now we do great, you can do equal equal, but it is better to do greater of, or equal. Perhaps he killed 2 X-Men at the same time. You never know. So this is it. Now we are ready to test the scenario. Now we kill the first X-Men, and we will kill the second one, and after that, shortly, we win. So this is uh, uh, like functionality we want. We achieved it by using quest bars. Quest bars can be used in a lot of ways. There is quest bar uh, randomize. It is very useful in a lot of scenarios. So for example, you want to give a player random uh, missions. 
it is uh, very good to use quest bar randomize because it gives you a random value and you can use the condition quest bar check to see if uh, the random value is what you want so quest bar randomize is used a lot in custom scenarios and uh, yeah uh, quest bar has a lot of potential it is really how you use it that it, uh, that it can shine so that was all I wanted to show you for this scenario. If you have any question, leave them down below. And I will see you next time for another tutorial. Until then, take care. Goodbye.